Ahoy, shipmates. Well, you join me on a nighttime excursion to the Queen Mary 2. Now, this video, I should be taking some pictures for my very first Patreon, Andrew. And he specifically requested some nighttime pictures of the Queen Mary 2. Now, this is slightly challenging because it's dark and it's a bit windy. But I think that came out quite well. Ah, what I've forgotten to do here is adjust the controls. Oh, and now I've adjusted the wrong way. Oh dear. Oh, hang on. That's, this is the problem with nighttime flying and taking pictures. I think I'll just put it onto automatic. That'll probably solve the problem. Ah, there we go. As you can see, the quality of video is not particularly good at night. I tend not to take video at night time, but the pictures do come out rather well. There are a few lights on in the QM2. I would imagine they are staff members enjoying the benefits of a room with a balcony. Particularly gusty this evening, but it was a, a wonderful sunset. A real chocolate orange orange. Tell, but I'm struggling somewhat in this wind. It's gusting rather alarmingly. And you can start to see the, the sunset here. I mean, the camera does a, a relatively decent job of, of covering the sunset, but uh, unfortunately a lot of noise is introduced into the picture. But I hope that... Uh, Andrew will enjoy his pictures. Once I've taken the pictures, I post-process them in uh, Photoshop to enhance the colours and balance out the lights and the darks. The pictures straight out of the drone are actually very good. But with a, a few minutes in Photoshop, you can really increase the depth and control the lightness and brightness better. Reduce those highlights, those glares from the, the lights, particularly it's the problem at night time. Now I'm thinking this might be a, might be a good photo opportunity here. Straight up the bow. Yes, I think they came out well. Hopefully, we have a satisfied Patreon. Well, until next time, shipmates. Something in the daylight, I hope. <laughs>